How's it going tonight, guys? It's going all right. Pretty it's good. going Pretty all good. right. Sounds good. All right, so we're checking out a game called uh, Pixel of Memory today, uh, made by Hiker Games. And uh, this is an interesting game. It's it's a it's a puzzle game, and it's a, about a guy who essentially has lost his memories, and you're trying to piece together those memories by doing these little pixel game puzzles. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Picross a little bit. So here's what you do. You get these blocks, and essentially you're trying to fill in the blanks, and your options are to put the bo blocks in or pull the blocks out. And yeah, the first couple puzzles are like super easy, but then starts to get a little more complex as we go. When uh, when you started this video and I saw that uh, cutscene playing, and then the cute little pixel graphics of the character walking around the room, this is not what I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, this is a little unexpected. It, it definitely catches you a little off guard as to what the game is. <laughs> But I like the idea. They're they're putting uh, like a story with a puzzle game. Then I take it. Yeah, the story's pretty light, at least to start with. But like as you kind of, I guess, unlock further chapters and stuff, it becomes a little bit more complex. Uh, but the basic idea, like I said, is is that the guy has amnesia. He doesn't ha have his memories, and you're trying to rebuild them through uh, again these little puzzles that remind him of his past. Right now, we're kind of going through his childhood. Yeah, sort of seeing some of the more interesting puzzle mechanics start to come into play. Yeah, and I I suck at these puzzles, by the way. Guys. Yeah, I so, can tell. Like, you're gonna you're gonna see me fail at a lot of this, and uh, it's gonna look pretty sad. But well, it does look pretty basic to start, but I'm gonna imagine that it gets more complex. So it's essentially one button to shoot a block, one to pull it back in. And there's a collision, so if a block is stopped by something, even if it's another block you've placed, then you use that to figure out the puzzle. I, I, I get the yep. premise here. Yep. And then, of course, you're just moving your guy around to, like, get the angles right, I guess you could say. Yeah, it makes sense. But um, I guess other than, like, the obvious, what do you guys think of the, the graphics? Very simple. I mean, it gets... It gets its purpose through, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't really have much to say about it. Well, I think the whole thing is with a with a puzzle game like this, expectations for graphics are pretty low um, because the actual pro puzzle, it's, you know, four-sided grid, it's blocks, things like that. So you kind of go into it with the mentality of anything that you get above that, which, like I said, the kind of pixel style graphics when you're walking around is almost considered like a bonus in that situation yeah 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 and i i do like again like the simple style it just definitely reminds me again of almost like the snes era of games um as you can see i am again sucking at this puzzle but um i i do like the graphic style that they went now you are bad at this yeah, it's pretty embarrassing watching you play it. But I can see how it, the puzzles will get better and better over time. Yeah, it get like again, it's the same premise throughout. Like it's always the same style with the with the puzzles, but they get more and more complicated as you go. It's definitely one that's very easy to understand. Yeah, in general, I'm a fan of Picross puzzles. Um, I actually really enjoy them. I even picked up like a Picross game on PlayStation not too long ago. So this seems like a very simple, um, I, I don't want to say take, because it's not exactly a take on Picross, but like almost like a little bit of an evolution on it. Yeah, it's a different style for sure. It definitely, uh, you know, hits some of the Picross feels, but... It, it's it's a different type of puzzle, you know? Man, you are bad at this. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of funny watching you play it. <laughs> it's funny because I love puzzles too, but the, I'm, I'm bad at these, so... <laughs> well, and that's, that's the nice thing about it is you don't have to be good at it to enjoy it. Um, I have to imagine that this is not a very expensive game, right? Like, I, I'm... I'm guessing this is on Steam, and it's probably only a few bucks. Yeah, it is on Steam, and it is only a few dollars. So 
you know, if you just want to hit that little bit of a, a, a puzzle itch for a few dollars, I mean, it's definitely, I think, worth the time. Well, this is one of those types of games where it's almost like a, a laid back game I would play when I'm taking a break from maybe a more serious or, or story heavy kind of game. You know, like this is a, a chill game. Maybe before I go to bed at night, I'll do a couple puzzles type thing. Definitely. Like, it's it's super relaxing. The music is super chill. There's no, um, you know, time with it. Like, it's not putting you under any pressure. So, yeah, you just take your time and kind of go through the puzzles bit by bit. I feel like I'd have to get my brain to wrap around a little bit of the four sides of it. Because I'm, I'm so used to, like, say, Tetris or something. You just go at it from one side. And even the last puzzle you solved by shooting it from the top, I didn't even think about that yet. Yeah, that took me a while to figure out. <laughs> That's why I was like, uh, why am I stuck on this, you know? Because uh, I was like, man, this is the first level and I'm already having difficulty. I can't imagine what some of the later levels are like. But um, yeah, I think we're probably good to talk about, you know, if you would continue playing this. Sure. Alex, you want to go first? I think I'd probably finish playing it. I mean, puzzle games usually don't take too long. And this one, at the very least, looks like it's the sort of one where it's simple enough with the rules that you can figure it out pretty quickly. And then it just gets tougher with how you have to implement it, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm, I'm with Alex. I would definitely put this one as a continue playing after the first opinions because it is like... A, like a unique take on a puzzle game. It's not like your typical cookie cutter match three or Tetris ripoff. It's a little bit more unique. And these kinds of games really lend themselves to just kind of chill, laid back gaming experiences that are kind of necessary nowadays when everything is so like over the top in your face, big blockbuster set piece stuff that, you know, you just need something with a chill vibe. Yeah. Yeah. And um, to, to round us off, I even after filming this, I did go back and play a little bit more. So I will continue to play it until I end up uh, eventually finishing the game. I am taking my time. It's, a, it's like you said, just super chill, relaxing. I can play a couple levels when I have some time and just um, you know, not think about things too much. Awesome. Okay, well, there so you got You have it, guys. So that's three for three. Hey, did you like that video? If you did, be sure to let us know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. If you want to be first in line for any new content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and then hit up our Facebook page. The link's in the description below to see what's coming up next.